Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. We are the only web show about the movies whose opening weekend was just slightly below Guardians of the Galaxy. Nine dollars. We, we had a nine dollar opening weekend. Oh, Excellent. I lost nine dollars somewhere. Oh, okay. right. So uh, if you find it, then our opening is zero. Oh, okay. Uh, so welcome to the show. I'm your host, Steve Skelton. I'm here with fellow Film Pigs, Stephen Falk. Hello, hi. And Todd Robert Anderson. Hiya. And we have a very special guest this episode, Kether Donahue. Yay! Yay! I'm a film piglet. You are. And she's also from You're the Worst. Yeah. Which is... Tell us about that show. Oh, uh, well, what can I tell you about that show that you guys don't already know? <laughs> tell them. Tell, tell them. them. They may not know. It's on... What, it's, FX. Know, yeah, you... FX. It's your show. You your favorite. It. Your favorite show. <laughs> 10.30 on Thursday. 10.30 Thursdays. We're about to do episode four tonight, the night this is airing. Uh, episode four. No, uh, it'll be episode five. Last week was episode four. No, he's right. Last last week was I'm right. No, no, this? he's right. This. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, episode five. <laughs> Sorry, we're in the future. Uh, watch it. You're the worst. And she's one of the stars, and Todd's in it, and I'm the showrunner. So, created. welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little yeah, popcorn. Start with popcorn. popcorn. Starting with the popcorn. Yay. Mm. 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 Let's get right into this with some rash judgments. What? Rash judgments. This is where we take a look at the movies that are coming out. And we tell you, the hardworking viewer, whether you should or should not go see these movies based solely on our own dickish opinions. We haven't seen the movies. No. No. We haven't been invited to like, any special screen. No, we've been disinvited. Or, yeah. I get we're not, un invitations. Yeah, we these. get requested not to show up. So at the most, maybe we've looked at a trailer, Wikipedia entry, I don't know. Nah. Um, but we're still going to let you know whether you should see these, see these movies or not. So Todd, do you have a rash judgment for us? Yeah, my rash judgment is for a movie called Expendables 3. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, this is hard for me. Oh. Uh. Very hard for me. I'm not sure uh, where to begin. I understand. Sorry, bud. But. We're here for you. Uh, let's just break, break down the franchise, okay? okay? Expendables 1, a handful of right wing 80s action guys <laughs> who made a gazillion dollars in the 80s making ultra violent R rated shows. God bless. Uh, they got together and they did Expendables with uh, Jason Statham. Uh, and, and it was fun and violent and, and silly. And uh, there was blood spraying everywhere. And I liked it. And then they did Expendables 2. And they pulled in some more extra. 80s action right wing guys Van Damme. And, and Van Damme, and uh, and that one was even more fun than the first one. Mm -hmm. So Expendables three is what's happening now, and they brought in even more right wing action guys. Get out of here! Even <laughs> even like openly racist homophobic ones like <laughs> Mel Gibson. Thank, thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, except this time, it's PG thirteen. What? Instead of rated R. Why what? would they downgrade? Well, I don't know. They, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's Sylvester Stallone claims it's because he wanted to do one for the younger kids. Lies. It's garbage. All the younger kids who can't get enough of Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> <laughs> Another right Team wing. Team Grammer. He's a right wing Partners sit on sitcom FX. guy. <laughs> so here's. Here's the thing. I really would have liked to see Expendables 3 if it was rated R yeah. and really gross. You're not going to see it? What about well, all the testosterone? It's PG-13. It's PG it's all and in a jar. I like Sly Stallone's <laughs> arm veins a lot, but Who doesn't? I don't think the arm veins alone can carry a movie. I think there needs to be gore and blood and gratuitous nudity. Throbbing penises. Throbbing penises. <laughs> And Chemically assisted throbbing penises and, at their age, and and breasts that are too young <laughs> for the throbbing <laughs> penises. What a, what what? Who do they bring in? Who are the new PG thirteen stars? There's Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. There's Antonio Banderas. Yeah. The aforementioned Kelsey Grammer. Yeah. Uh, Wesley and, Snipes. And Wesley Snipes Jeez. and and Mel Gibson, as I said. Mm -hmm. Uh, which would have been awesome because all of them, with the exception of Kelsey Grammer, were awesome R-rated action guys yeah. from the 80s. Ugh. And now they're PG-13 action guys. And fucking Christ, I guess I can bring my kid. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring my kid. That would be the responsible thing. Yeah, that's the yeah. way to take advantage of this, <laughs> is to bring my kid to... I guess that they think that if there's less gore, that more people will come and they'll make more money. But guess what? The people... Of the younger generations who don't have the balls for R-rated action movies, aren't gonna go see this movie because it's with a bunch of old 
guys from the 80s that I used to like when I saw ultraviolet movies. This is fucking bullshit. Tom, it's an Tom, outrage. Tom, Tom, Slice yeah, the I love calm, you. Calm, but calm, this is calm, bullshit. Just, 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 just drink, drink, just drink, drink, just drink, breathe. Okay. Calm yourself. <laughs> okay. okay. Stephen right. Falk, do you have a, a rash judgment for us? Do you like Fox sitcoms? <laughs> do you like fake police officers? <laughs> then you're gonna love Let's Be Cops. Oh yeah. So this one stars uh, the new girls, Jake Johnson and Damon Wayans Jr. And they're playing a couple of dudes who decide to dress up for Halloween as cops. And then they go uh, out on the town and find that people are like respecting them and they're afraid of them and they can steal pot from people. And they're like, oh my God, it's fun to be cops. Let's be even more cops. So they, they get a cop so car. So they become more cops? They become more cops. They get a cop car on eBay, and they start doing stuff and responding to domestic disturbances. Uh, disturbances? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get said, it right, Todd. I said disturbances, Todd. It was clearly disturbances. Uh, I thought you said instrubances. You know, um, what's that? it has a bunch of people that you ex expect to be in this kind of, kind of show popping up in, in goofy, uh, goofy little one, one, one rolls. Um, <laughs> Uh, I love Goofy roll, one roll. Yeah. So uh, let's Is be like cops. Is like Andy Dick in it? Yeah, bro probably, <laughs> probably. Uh, it was that, that that angry guy from from the Daily Show, and he was he was like the Rob uh, Riggle. Rob Riggle. Or, and, uh, yeah, Luke well, Black is also angry. But anyway, let's be cops. Um, I'm probably not gonna see it. Uh, I guess I admired the sort of studio mentality that went into it, but I don't have to support that. Um, <laughs> So He's yeah. taking a stand. So I'm, I'm taking a stand against Expendables 3. You're taking a stand against Let's Be Cops. I'm taking a less emotional stand. You could take Todd's kid too. I could take Todd's kid. No, I think it's R-rated. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Let's Be Cops. Maybe it'll be funny because of the R rating uh, and I'll be proven wrong, but I, it just doesn't look like it's for me. All right, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you for that, Th Stephen. That was that well was thought out, and uh, you kept your emotions in check, yeah, which is nice. Fucking, yeah. you fucking expect ah, okay. three. Okay, it's no. It's fucking okay. bullshit. Okay, just it's drink, bullshit. Just drink, just drink, just drink. Uh, Kather, do you have a... I do, question? I do. Do you like Meryl Streep? Mm. Oh. Do you like Jeff Bridges? Mm. Did you know Katie Holmes is in movies again? <laughs> what? <laughs> because I didn't. I actually was in the grocery store the other day and I saw Katie Holmes on a magazine cover and I thought, oh, I wonder what she's up to. Right. And then when I saw <laughs> Aside the... Aside from running. Yeah. 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 From and life. being divorced from yeah. Tom Cruise. Yeah. I thought like, oh, what's this chick up to? And then when I watched the Giver trailer, she was the first person I saw and I was like, oh my God, she's in this. It's called The Giver? The Giver. It's okay. called The Giver. Um, it was, it's based it about, on a like, book. Low jobs or something? What happens? Well, that is the NC-17 version That's the NC that we're not talking about. No, this this one's that. different. It's based yeah. on a book. Um, I hate those. I hate yeah, books. I know. Books suck. You know, it's better right. to see the movies. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember I read the book in, in middle school, and there, on the cover it was a man with a beard. But this sure. is a different cover. Anyway, I, I want to see it, and I think you should too. Um, it's basically about a utopian society, mm. and um, I think it explores. I think a lot of movies have tried to do this, like Elysium with Matt right, Damon, yeah, 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 yeah. and what was another one with Matt Damon and Emily Blunt? Uh, hats, hats. Yeah. Hats, oh, hats, yeah, and yeah, the hats, hats and doors. Hats and doors. Hats and doors. Hats and doors. No, no, no. There was another it's, one. It's called the Adjustment Bureau. Yes. Yeah. No, no. That's the hats Adjustment Bureau. Hats and doors. Hats and doors. Oh, okay. Hats and doors was the working time. So, in my yeah. opinion, yeah. those two movies did not su successfully succeed in their utopian society. Maybe the Adjustment Bureau did, but anyway, I hope The Giver will. Um, I like those kinds of movies that question human nature and sure. free will versus, you know, a utopian society where your destiny is mapped out for you. And Meryl Streep looks like she's gonna win an Oscar. Oh, wow. Another Oscar. I, Even in the trailer, she should win an Oscar for the trailer. Wow, so a, tra a trailer Oscar. Tra I think you should see it. Oscars. All right. I think you should see it. Oscars. Well, thank you, everybody, for those oh, wow. rash judgments. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. They were fantastic. You're welcome. I mean, I know this was emotionally oh, difficult for you. Drink your, don't bring but it up you, again. Yeah. Fucking Christ. Work through it. Just work through it. Okay. We're, we're all here for you because we have something very exciting to look at now, oh. Todd. You guys, mm. we, got a, uh, we got another trailer uh, coming mm. up.
for, really? for a new movie, a new comedy. Get out. Um, yeah, it's a crazy new comedy. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Mm. Um, it's uh, sexy. Oh. Uh, it's 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 irreverent. It's it's a sequel. Oh, it's a sequel. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, to uh, I like sequels because yeah. original material I don't like no. so much because I don't know it. it yeah. Audiences like it. Yeah, uh, and you don't know, and it, it's it's better to always always go with a known quantity. Right. Yeah. Originality so. sucks as much. And they as up books. the ante from what the original. They exactly. Exactly. It's always you know. Up, you know, I hear in Heather's it. in it. Yes. I am. Right? Oh, oh, right. Yeah. I remember. remember that movie? Yeah. I did. Yeah. I've been doing so many movies lately. We, we are working so much. You I can't know. Keep track just, of yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do remember that. What should one. we do? Oh, wait. Maybe we should. Wait. Um, uh, roll it! Hey, hon. Honey, I'm very busy with all this extra work that Mr. Jenkins has been. I thought maybe we could make another sex tape. Are you freaking crazy, woman? What? Don't you remember the last time we made a sex tape? We happened to give all of our friends our old iPads that for some reason we didn't restore to factory settings, and then the sex tape got sent up into the cloud for some reason, and then mysteriously downloaded to all those iPads for some reason, and then we had to try to get each and every iPad back? We can do butt stuff. Yeah, OK. Ah! Oh. Oh. Now that was some good butt stuff. That was some great butt stuff. No way that didn't spice up our marriage. Yeah. <laughs> now you're sure that footage didn't get uploaded to the cloud? Honey, it was a ridiculous leap in logic the first time. No way it happens again. Hey, how are we getting different camera sizes? <laughs> uh, damn it! Hey, UPS guy, thanks for the delivery. Yeah, sure. I was gonna use the back door, because I know your wife likes deliveries in the rear. <laughs> damn it! Again? This is a disaster. No kidding. The idea of trying to stop a video clip in the age of internet was enough of a stretch before. But the normal upping of stakes in the sequel. What the fuck is our second act going to be? I don't know. Maybe we should take this to science. I don't like science. Well, so you see what happened was your video camera was synced to the main server cloud farm uh, based on factory settings. And, um, you know, uh, due to uh, cloud swarm glitches and because of the butt stuff, a Linux field macro was triggered, which downloaded said video to your family and friends address book and uh, network handshake protocols. And uh, because of uh, completely real uh, synchronistic computerized variables um, to every Wi-Fi device within a uh, crypto proximity. So what does that mean? Oh, uh, colloquially, uh, ma'am, that means that everyone on the planet has seen your butthole. Oh, god damn it! Yeah, I'm sorry, there's just no way we can undo this. Unless. No, it's too dangerous. What? Well, uh, scientifically speaking, while we cannot cause an event not to have happened yet, um, uh, we can create a new event that eclipses the previous event, thus wiping it from memory. You mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. 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 Wow. So, now that tape will go up into the cloud and everyone will watch it and totally forget about the butt stuff tape. <gasps> Thanks, genius computer guys. <laughs> what? That's not how the cloud works. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows how the cloud works. <laughs> So you said this. Oh, no, no, no. We just about wanted to hump you guys ever since we saw that first tape. <laughs> done and done. Yes, and done. <laughs> Wait, I got help. Oh. That was pretty hot. I didn't come. Sorry to hear it. I get performance anxiety. Can you shut up? In group situations. Wow, that was an amazing trailer, you guys. Wow. I can't wait to see it. It looks hilarious. That was that was yeah, sexy. That yeah. was like steamy. It was like steamy, steamy. it was sexy. How it were was... you with like doing simulated butt sex with a ginger? 
I think that was CGI. <laughs> it was CGI. Yeah. CGI. Good, good. Anyway. I have uh, a fetish for ginger. <laughs> I have a ginger fetish. Oh, sweet. Oh, so, guys, we've had a great show. Give me your number later. We've had a really great show. Um, we had introductions. Yes. We, uh, we toasted popcorn. Right. We had rash judgments. We had that a plug for. for we plug. We had a plug. For, what do we have a plug for? You're the worst. Uh, FX 10:30 on uh, uh, Thursday nights after Married. So. Oh, we forgot to so plug. Later tonight. Uh, later tonight. You should watch. We forgot to plug uh, that you can get Fuzz Track City on the oh. online. You can download it online from Amazon and iTunes and everything. And yeah. that's a crazy great movie that Todd Fuzz Track stars City. in. So, uh, and, and I forgot you can go on iTunes and watch. You're the worst if you don't have FX. <laughs> yeah. You're the worst. So, uh, Fuzz Track City. So we covered all the plugs. <laughs> yeah. um, Katie Holmes Katie is Holmes alive. Katie Holmes is alive. She's alive. She's alive. Working. <laughs> Um, we saw an amazing trailer uh, for like a super sexy, hilarious sequel movie. Uh, we wrapped things up. And we've up. been wrapping things up. I, I don't think there's anything else to do. It guys. would be overkill. It'd be too much. It'd be too much. So uh, I want to thank Stephen Fault. Thank you. Uh, thank I want to. I want to thank Todd Anderson. I want to thank uh, Kether Donahue for being our guest this episode. You're welcome. And until next time, folks, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. Expendables 3 is fine. Just drink your scotch, for Christ's sake. I could do a Sylvester Stallone impression. Mm. Do it. Do Let's it. end with that. Adrian. <laughs> wow. <that> was, <laughs> is he, She's drooling. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a boner now. <laughs> That's like a, like a stroked out Stallone. You mean Stallone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect Stallone. <laughs>